Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. Today's question is Cousins in Binary Tree. If you are new to the channel, please consider subscribing. We solve a lot of interview questions on this channel and that can definitely help you with your interview. The question says, in a binary tree, the root node is at depth 0. And children of each depth k nodes are at depth k plus 1. Two nodes of a binary tree are cousins if they have same depth but have different parents. We are given the root of a binary tree with unique values and the values x and y of two different nodes in the tree. Written true if and only if the nodes corresponding to the values x and y are cousins. We are given with example. So if you look at example number one, we are given with tree. We have x as four and y as three. And we can clearly see the depth of 3 is 2 and the depth of 4 is 3. They are not at the same depth, so the answer is false. And if you look at example number 2, we are given with x as 4 and 5 and we can clearly see the depth of 4 and 5 is same and their paints are different. So 4 and 5 are cousins. And if you look at example number 3, we are given with x as 2, y as 3 and we can clearly see 2 and 3 are at the same height but their parents is same and it is mentioned in the question that the height or the depth should be same but the parents should be different so that's why answer is false so let's move on to the pen and paper let's see how we can solve this question after that we will see the code i have taken the example given in the question and we will solve this question using recursion and for recursion we need a base case. For this question, the base case is if root is none, we will return false. Why false? Because if we don't have root, that means we don't have tree, and we are given with two nodes x and y, then if we don't have tree, then there is no way we can prove or we can tell whether this x and y node is cousin or not. So we will simply say that this x and y are not cousins. So this is our base case. And to solve this question, we need certain rules. We have given in the question that x and y should be on the same depth, but should not share the same parent. Or you can say should have different parents. Let's see every example one by one. Let's check for their depth and their parents. After that, we will write the code. So we see at example number one, if I check here and if I say depth here is one and depth here is two and at this level, it's three. And we are given with x as four and y as 3. So we need to look for 4 and 3. So I came to 4. The depth is 3 and if I look for parent, parent is 2. And I search for 3. The depth is 2 and parent is 1. And we have two condition same depth different parent and and to get answer true we need to have both of these conditions and if you look at these two the parents are different but the height is not same so that's why answer is false so let's look at example number two so here my depth is one here my depth is two here my depth is three and we are given with x as five and y as four we will look for four we will check for the parent parent is two and the depth is three same way we will look for five parent is 3 and depth is 3 and you can see 
both of these are satisfying our conditions that parents are different and depth is same depth is same parents are different so the answer is true and if you look at example number 3 depth is 1 depth is 2 here and depth is 3 here and we are given with x is 2 y is 3 we will search for 2 depth is 2 and parent is 1 we look for 3 depth is 2 and parent is 1 so here we are satisfying our one condition that depth should be same but the second condition is not true because they share the same parent so they can be sibling but they can't be cousins so the answer is false so now we come up with an idea that we need to maintain two things and those two things are that we need to take care of parent and depth while moving in the tree we need to find a way where we can keep a track of depth and parent and this is what we will going to do so what we will going to do we will make a helper or dfs function in which we will pass two empty array one for the information of x and one for information of y and in this while searching through the tree whenever we get a root value which is equal to x then we will store the parent and level or you can say depth in x info and whenever root dot value is equal to y we will store the parent and depth in y info and then we will check if the parents of x and y are different and depth is same then we will simply return true else we will return false and because we need to look in both side left and right so to check for that we will use our dfs function in both left and right tree and while moving down we will keep increasing our depth by 1 at every level and we will keep storing the information of x if root dot value is equal to x in x info and information of y if root dot value is equal to y in y info if you are not clear here i'm pretty sure after looking at the code you will be more clear so let's move on to the coding part and let's see what is the code for this problem so i made two arrays x info and y info in which i will store the information of x and information of y and i use depth which is zero because it is mentioned in the question that we will start the depth from zero and parent is none why because when we are at root and if we look for the parent of the root that means we don't have any parent so initially the parent is none and then we have our base case if root is none then i will return false and now i made a helper function dfs in which i am passing x y depth parent and x info and y info and if root is none i am simply returning none and if root dot value is equal to x then i am appending the information of depth and parent to x info and if root dot value is equal to y then i am appending information of depth and parent of y into y info and then i am using that function on the left side and the right side then i am using my dfs function at line number 17 i am passing root x y depth which is zero initially and parent which is none x info and y info and then i am checking if the depth is same because you can see i am passing depth first so i am checking whether the depth is same and if my parents are different so if this is the condition it will return true else it will return false so this was the code 
and let's check whether it works or not. So here I submitted my code and it got accepted. So this was the solution for this problem. If this video was helpful to you, please give it a thumbs up. Thank you so much guys for watching the video. Please don't forget to subscribe.